Hi everyone. Well, you knew I was going to have to talk about it eventually. <laughs> That's right. Um, today's topic is chicken droppings. Um, of course, chickens are animals and they make a mess like any other living being. And so I'm going to talk to you today about how I keep the coop clean and yeah, all the fun stuff <laughs> that involves chicken uh, manure. So I am in the run right now and I'm just about ready to rake it up and get it cleaned up for the ladies. Um, because they're free ranging most of the time, it doesn't get too messy in here, but I do like to rake it at least once a week, if not more than that, especially if it rains, um, because it helps keep flies down and disease away, of course, and um, then the run is nice and clean. I mean, who doesn't want a clean floor, right? <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm sure you've all seen bird droppings before, but that right there is what comes out of a chicken. And so chickens have only one um, opening in the bottom half of their body. It's called a vent. Um, and so chickens do not um, defecate or urinate like um, mammals do. Um, birds, like I said, they have a vent. And so when you see a chicken dropping, and you see the white part, the white of the dropping is actually um, what I would say is a chicken's form of urine. That's the crystallized, um, it's just in a crystallized form rather than a liquid. And, uh, and then of course the brown stuff is, you know, your normal <laughs> poo, I guess you would say. But um, obviously when you're dealing with a animal droppings of any kind, you want to make sure that um, you're being safe and people worry because um, chicken droppings can be high in ammonia and while that fact is true, um, the only time it becomes really dangerous is if you do not keep up with it. Um, you don't want to let your coop get really dirty. Um, I clean mine at least twice a week. If it rains, I clean it out again because once it gets wet, um, it's just more hygienic that way. You keep the rodents away from any food that could be left behind and it keeps the flies away because obviously they're interested in the chicken's leavings. Um, but the ammonia builds up when you don't have proper ventilation and you don't keep it clean. Um, and being that chickens are they're pretty hardy animals they're not super sensitive but you don't want to you know clean your coop with really harsh chemicals you don't want to go you know overboard I like to spray mine down usually I just give it a good misting with the garden hose and then let it dry out good after I've uh, raked it and swept it but if it's getting particularly dirty I use a little mixture of uh, white vinegar that works really well to help keep germs at bay. Um, several times a year I will give it a good bleaching, but I'll make sure that the ladies are out and far away and and I don't want them in the coop when I'm cleaning with that. Um, and of course anytime you're dealing with um, animal droppings you want to dispose of them properly. Chicken manure is fantastic for the garden, but you don't want to put it straight on your plants. Um, it's better to let it decompose for a while first. So I actually have a compost bin that I put mine in um, and I let it sit there all summer long, um, you know, breaking down. Um, that way it doesn't burn the plants because any fertilizer can be too strong for a plant. Um, but it, it breaks down nicely, especially if you use wood chip bedding or maybe use some straw. Um, that helps absorb any moisture that there might be in the droppings and then also keeps the uh, coop nice and dry for the ladies. Um, personally, um, on my coop floor I throw down some sand. Not a lot. Some people go, you know, pretty deep with the sand and they use it as like kind of like a litter, like a cat litter. 
um, but I go with just a light sprinkling of some construction sand, not playground sand because that's too fine for chickens, but um, construction sand is good. And then I throw some wood shavings over the top of that because the ladies like to kick that around and then and then I have this just shavings in the nest box because you know they like to have a nice little comfy bed there for their eggs um, but really it's not difficult um, chickens will of course poop wherever you let them wander so if there's an area of your yard that you don't want um, chicken droppings in then you just need to keep them out of that area but um, it's not overwhelming they're not like rabbits where they leave pellets everywhere. Um, but, you know, as long as you keep the coop clean and swept out and healthy, uh, your birds will be healthy. It'll keep the rodents down and definitely keep the flies away. Um, I've never had a problem with flies because I um, am a finicky about how clean I keep the coop. So, that's the story with uh, chickens and their poo. Um, just make sure you're always smart around animals and their leavings and uh, you know be a good chicken friend and wash your hands before and after you handle chickens definitely after um, anytime we touch chickens collect eggs or feed them or clean out their pen we wash our hands around here and um, I hope you all do the same and I hope you all are well and uh, we'll see you next time